Brewers hosting the Reds, and the Brewers are minus 190 on the money line. The Reds are plus 170, and you can see this number kind of skyrocketed a little bit. The over-under, I have at 7.5 runs. Cincinnati at plus, uh, getting a run and a half is minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they win the game outright, you win, or if they only lose the game by one, you win. Milwaukee laying a run and a half are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win the game by two. Shop around, like I said, my casino has them at minus 190 there. You see them at minus 245. That's a significant difference if you like the Brewers. Green didn't pitch against the Brewers last year. Hauser pitched against the Reds four times. Four innings, six runs, six earned. They lost that game 9-4. Five and a third, one run, one earned. They won it 5-1. Five, uh, five, four and a third, no runs, no earned. They won it 5-3. Four innings, four runs, four earns, and they earned, They won that game 11-6. Now, the Reds are on an eight-game losing streak. The Brewers are on a two-game winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, Milwaukee's on a two-game winning streak. Milwaukee is 7-3 and three against the Reds in their past 10. The favorite laying a run and a half is 7-3, and three, and the over is 6-4. and four. Why I decided to take the Reds yesterday, I don't know. I thought the pitching matchup was going to be a little bit better, and clearly I was wrong. I'm going to go clean sweep here for the Brewers. Milwaukee with the money line, Milwaukee laying the runs. I'm going to go over the 7.5. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.